everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, directional blur video transition. This is a quick and effective transition in Premiere Pro. So let's dive in. Hi, right, so we're here in Premiere Pro and this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial. I've got my clips here from the cinematic video tutorial. So what I'm going to do first is go to assembly, right click, new adjustment layer and simply drag the adjustment layer in between the two clips. I'm working on these two clips, so I'm gonna drag it on top. I'm gonna to cut it out. Go back to my ed editing panel and search for directional blur in the effects. I'm gonna drag it on top of my adjustment layer and we're gonna go over the effects control and we're going to set the direction. Well, actually you can set it to whatever direction you want. That's going to depend on the direction of the transition. So I'm going to set it to about 100 and you're going to want to set your first keyframe with blur length zero. And you want your middle keyframe to be right in between the two clips and set that to however much you want. I'm going to set it to about 200. That should be good. And then we're going to, uh, yeah, that's not, that looks good. We're going to set our last keyframe back to zero. Now keep in mind, the farther the distance between the keyframes, the slower the transition is going to be. So make sure your middle keyframe is right between the two clips. So you can move the other ones closer to make it faster, farther to make it slower. So I'm going to set it here. I like it to be a little fast. And you can add a little whoosh trans, uh, sorry, sound effect to it. A little whoosh right here right in the middle. And we're gonna add a little bit of music just to, you know, give it a more cinematic uh, feel. So I'm gonna render this out and I'm gonna show you how it looks. So here's how it, it's looking so far. So it's kind of slow, but it still looks good. I'm going to speed it up. So I sped it up and this is how it's looking right now. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe the switch is not in sync, but I can just set later. So yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. It's a nice and quick, easy way to add this transition. Uh, also, you're going to want to adjust the uh, direction based on the direction of your clip. So let's say it's panning to the right. You're going to want to set it to about 90 degrees. If it's going up and down, you can set it to 180 and so on. So yeah, that's about it. It's a nice, easy way to add a transition to your videos and that's it. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to catch future tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next one.